How y'all doing? I'm gonna show you two guns. And I'm trying to think, why would you spend the money on this one? This is the Henry Garden gun. Basically, this is a shotgun, smooth bore. It only shoots 22 shot shells. And then you got something like this. Almost everybody owns one of these. Well, you probably don't own this one. This one's pretty nice. Uh, a friend of mine lent this to me. This is a JC Higgins Model 33, 24 inch barrel rifled. And I got shot shells in this. And I mean, if you're looking for a garden gun, almost everybody has one of these old rifled 24, 22, 18 inch barrel guns out there. So we're gonna see if a smooth bore is actually better than a rifle. And one thing nice about this one, you can shoot you need regular 22s. That garden gun, you cannot. So I got two pieces of cardboard there so we can catch the shot. And then I got two water bottles to the right there. This is a little more than 10 yards. This is a little more than what shot shells are actually designed for. But maybe that garden gun will uh, show where it's where it shines, I guess. I don't want to say it because I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> There's lots of birds that are uh, no longer around because they were in my insulation because of that lever action garden gun. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to shoot that cardboard to the right, and I'm going to shoot the water bottle. Then I'm going to pick up the garden gun. We'll see what happens. And I want to really do another video on this one. One thing nice about this J.C. Higgins, it, it operates exactly like a Remington shotgun. I really like this thing. People that have problems with this gun is because they short stroke it, because the 22 doesn't stroke as much as a, you know, a shotgun. So safety where a Remington would be. We're on fire to see what happens. Cardboard first. I'm not sure where it shoots. We'll figure it out. And I'm gonna shoot that water bottle. A little more than 10 yards or close enough. No kick whatsoever. Going after that water bottle now. Ain't much happened there. I'm gonna load it, put it on safe. Huh. That could be a sight issue. I don't even know where it hits yet. Here we go. The Henry Garden Gun. Let's see if it's much different. Water bottle. I didn't see much there. Let's walk up and take a look. That's 10 yards. I'm gonna take the whole stand with me. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I got a lot of shots in and a lot of shots out. There's a lot of shots way over here too. That's with the smooth bore. Let's check out the rifled. Okay. Hardly any in the kill zone, but tons out here. That's what it that's what happens. It it catches the rifling and it does a circle. So people say, let's see if there's anything in the water jug. That's leaking. So, I don't know. I guess it's, a, it's effective. Put it back down there. Let's go check out the other water bottle. Almost empty. Okay. All righty. I bet you 
it really shows its stuff closer. So, let's set you back up again. And maybe we'll move the guns a little closer. See what happens. All right, you all saw what happened there. This is probably seven yards. Let's pick up. The old timer. Let me move you back a little bit so I'm at seven yards and you guys are watching. Okay. I got the old timer, JC Higgins. Safety just like a Remington. I'm going after a water bottle first this time. I'll leave that alone. Henry, garden gun, water bottle first, which is actually leaking more than the other one. Black dot. Let's walk up here and take a look. Is it worth even buying the garden gun? I don't I don't think it is. I think everybody has an old 22. You can just decide to shoot. Let's look at this thing. I'll we'll start with the water jug now. <clears throat> Still has some water in it. You saw what happened. Let's go to this water jug. Barely any water in it at all. Okay, look at that black dot. Completely covered. My goodness, who knows how many is in there? 30, 40, who knows? Let's look at this one. <sighs> Barely anything. There is four or five in there, maybe six. Look at that. So right there, that's why. Okay, so there's definitely a reason to own the garden gun. If you're looking for many shots in the same area at close distance. Okay, okay. It's pretty neat. I'm not sure what you guys uh, want to talk about or think about that. I think it's pretty neat. I knew how it was going to react. I knew what was going to happen. That's kind of why I did what I did there. But at 10 yards, it looks like you can still hit your target. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'm going to say yes because I got a squirrel, about 13 birds, <laughs> and I didn't destroy my uh, garage. So, yes, I would say the garden gun is worth it. God bless. Get yourself one of those uh, smoothbore 22 garden guns from Henry. They're definitely worth the price. God bless. Bye.